Hello everyone, thanks for watching. In this vlog, I will be showing you the latest, the last days of my white berry grow. Smoking out of the vaporizer, vaping out of the vaporizer. Um, so yeah, you will see the last uh, days of my white berry grow. Um, gotta mention um, this wall grow it was super hot when I started this uh, I didn't even thought the plant would grow uh, big with uh, decent sized nugs and uh, trichrome production but um, yeah I had some problems at the end the leaves were hanging down a lot of leaves dried out uh, but yeah, you will see the result at the end um, after trimming. You can see what um, what I harvest. So uh, yeah, much love and uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Peace. Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Day forty six. 64 Look at the temperature still too hot and At this moment you see that the leaves around the buds are hanging down or, uh, Dry it's Not a good thing so I'm not going to wait uh, much longer, but uh, still frosty buds. I knew uh, when I started to grow in this period that it would be super hot because it's extremely hot in my room uh, this time of the year. But yeah, I mean I'm growing in a very small sp space, so. I don't have the option to put a lot of plants here but yeah th these are the buds that you can see but even behind here you have some more buds and yeah they're uh, looking uh, okay and they are uh, frosty as you can see and um, you can smell the aroma sweet white berry aroma But um, yeah, I will be uh, harvesting this very soon. I'll keep you updated, of course. Please like this video if you uh, enjoyed it. You can use the information. Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching. Today is a special day because today going to harvest this white berry it took uh, a bit longer than normal because normally from seed to harvest can be done in uh, 36 days but uh, maybe a week more but uh, it's no problem uh, give them some more time beautiful nugs over here these had a bit less heat so they can uh, they could evolve a bit better and here you see some light burn so that's uh, not a nice thing of course uh, didn't expect that because uh, I used same lights uh, on my previous grow and uh, didn't have any problems because of the heat uh, yeah she couldn't handle that much uh, LED lights so I had a bit of a light burn here but um, yeah I will be harvesting this uh, about a few hours 
She gave her some ice cold water a few days ago, flushing of course. And yeah, I'm um, curious uh, how much the dry weight will be. So uh, we'll be back in one moment. So the white berry is out of the grow space. As you can see, some frosty buds and some less frosty buds. And I have a bit of a light burn as you can see over here. And uh, now I will uh, cut all the buds and uh, place them over here. So we'll be back one moment. So I've uh, chopped off a few nugs here, as you can see. And the rest of the plant. And it's growing in a strange form, that's uh, thanks to the low stress training. Um, as you can see the main cola over here. It's doesn't go straight up, but uh, bends. And that way it's possible to grow in a um, small space. So thanks to the low stress training, super cropping, so are important techniques. And this is the result. Fully chopped off. And this, this is the harvest. Main cola over here. So these are the buds after drying, uh, I mean after trimming. I have a carton box and I will be drying them in a box because I've already planted the new seed. Auto Brooklyn Sunrise, a diesel uh, uh, genetic, Dutch and American genetics together, Dutch Passion is the name of the breeder, I've uh, put some paper on top of it because uh, in the germinating process of the seed it needs to be totally dark. So. Today I'm going to put this in the grow space and this can dry in a carton box and I will put it on the top of my closet so it can dry. And this is the harvest. And 
you can see my new grow, my new seed planted. Did that um, one day ago. So I think maybe tomorrow, uh, end of the day, maybe she will come out. And the box is on the top of my closet. So you can dry.